Okay. So this is Windows side. You're going to come across real weird bugs from time to time. I came across a very weird bug. Now, when you're browsing the web, you want to just check your internet usage, right? So, go to network settings, Wi-Fi, and tada, estimated usage if you have enabled it. Well, recently, actually today, came to my attention that I couldn't see it. Uh, I'll throw up an image on screen uh, since I've already fixed the bug. As you can see, no estimated usage. And no matter what I do, even if I set it as non metered, hide and show estimated usage, it never comes back. Now, there are one of two options. You could either completely find a restore point and go back to that. And uh, yeah, if you were to restore your computer, perhaps it may work. Or what I did the last time when this happened to me was to do a complete reinstall of Windows 8.1. Which is... Woo! One small bug, man. God damn it, no. God damn it. Anywho, I found a solution online. Without uh, resetting or refreshing or doing any restore points. Straight away go to control panel, yeah. search for administrative tools. Once you come to that window, go to services. And then search for diagnostic policy services. Now, at this moment, it would either most people would come across their startup type being manual or once you right click it uh, it would be it would be stop instead of start that would be grayed out but i had the misfortune of having start grayed out and usually you just click start and it works so what i did was I went to properties startup type set it to manual okay went back restarted it waited a couple of minutes when again back right clicking properties set it to automatic and yet again restarted it wait a couple of minutes and voila now by now it should come back to this if you still have any problems i would suggest doing a restore point of an earlier point or you don't have any restore points then you'd have to refresh your PC uh, I you can clearly just google that term and find out how to do it yourself if all else fails well and if it's as annoying as it was for me then you'd have to reinstall Windows 8 all over again I came across this solution from Mr. Omar. Thank you very much, sir. Without you, I'd be screwed. Uh, and the best part was it was on Windows, Windows Answer Forum. Wow. Yes, sir. Yes, indeed. It did resolve my issue. Thank you very much, man. All hail, Mr. Omar.